Hey guys, what is happening? Mike Spider Slayer here and Brayden. What's up guys? We're on the road again. We're on the hunt. We're going to be going to different comic book shops over here in Lakeland. This is our second time in two months. My daughter's got another dance competition. So today we're going to Johnny B's comics cards and collectibles looks like they focus on cards so we'll see what they have to offer we're going to be searching for spider-man moon knight so we're gonna take a look and see what's inside okay so before we go into the shop we came up to this uh brewlands bar and billiards billiards place which looks like obviously you can play pool next to the shop <laughs> and they and they have looks like like old NES stuff or maybe some classic video games maybe you can play here but here's the front of it I thought it was just kind of cool to share with you it's called and it, there's galaxy bar here also so and you can see it says no wife beaters tanks <laughs> no basketball shorts no sagging pants no backpacks no slides and 21 and up so that is pretty neat looking place I wish I could go in, but obviously they're not open right now. But uh, yeah, so if you're ever in the Lakeland area and want to check out this Galaxy Bar and Billiards place, yep, go ahead, check it out. All right, so now we're approaching, which is Johnny B's. So here we get to see the outside of the shop, and Braden and I are going to go inside. So you ready, Braden? Yes. All right, so here we go. All right, so here we are inside of Johnny B's. This is the entrance of the store. Um, and right from the start, you can see that this is where they keep their comic books. And it's not like the most gigantic section, but they do have comics, which I'm going to be flipping through in a little bit. Here we get to see just some, just the Ultimate Spider-Man stuff. We got some Nestro. It looks like a lot of modern day stuff. Um, here we get the 100 Greatest Marvels of All Time. Old Man Logan. So this is just a quick flip through what I've seen just showing this video. So we're gonna go through all this stuff. Um, they got their bags and boards, and then you can see that their real focal point is cards. They have everything cards. Uh, they sell the sleeves. They got these uh, types of things that hold cards as well. And then here we go to the other side. All kinds of hockey, baseball cards. Here we get to see some of the featured stuff that they have inside. So we get to see all that as well. And then this is the cool place. The cool thing about this place is that as we walk in, they have a whole card setup where you do all types of gaming when it comes to cards like Magic the Gathering, uh, Pokemon, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, just everything. And this is building is like over 4,000 square feet. So you get to see the whole scope of the place here. Absolutely amazing. Great setup here. Great setup. So, and then here we get to see, I think, which is probably magic cards. So we get to see all our magic cards right here. So if you are in the Lakeland area and you love card collecting it looks like you're gonna find it here for sure so here's all your pokemon cards and then here's all the stuff from behind the counter man you can even buy candy so really cool stuff here and then we're gonna take a bit of a walk what do you think of this place? This place is very cool. So, you said you, it seemed like you've been here before. Yeah, one of my friend's old birthday parties was in a building just like this. Yeah, this place is awesome. So Millennium I can see... Falcon. Oh yeah, I got the Millennium Falcon up here too. So yeah, nice looking place. So yeah, we're going to go through the comics now. and We're going to see what we can find. All right, so Braden and I are flipping through the books right now. Just looking right now, I have a New Warriors Annual and a Venom. Not sure if I'm gonna buy them, but we can see we're flipping through, Braden's looking. <laughs> so we're gonna see what we can find here. Got this Avengers book that's looking pretty cool. Might pick that up with a white vision on there. 
new Avengers. So we're gonna go through some of that stuff. We just came out of Johnny B's and I actually met Johnny. He was a really nice guy. Um, gave me a bunch of comics for 35 bucks, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, the comics there were uh, he, over half off from the sticker price. And then he gave me a little bit of an additional discount, which was super cool. What did you think of the overall shop? The store was really good. It's big, it's cool, and it has a lot of stuff in it. Right, and the cool thing about the shop is I didn't come at the right time. He just bought out a couple of comic shops, and so he's in the processing, a process of making a whole comic room area. So he says he got over a hundred long boxes that he's going to go through and then he's going to have a whole bunch of new inventory so hopefully we'll come back soon and we we will refilm and check out the comics that he has so until then here we go mysterious white bag and we're going to see what's inside and what i got here so here is the comic book stack and uh, like i said every book here that i got was half off sticker price Plus some, right? So the first thing we wound up getting was uh, Fantastic Four issue, supersized annual issue 21. So we scored on that one. So that one was pretty cool. It's got that awesome thing on there from back from 1988. What do you think of that one? That looks cool. Yeah, that's cool. Then I found these two. Too bad they did not have issues one and two. Um, they're not in the best shape, but they're not horrible shape either. This is a four issue mini series, G.I. Joe Transformers from back in the day. So this is issue three, really badass cover. You got Shockwave on there with the Baroness, uh, Serpentor, and yeah, so you got a lot of those uh, different characters on there. So that was issue three. And then here is issue four, which is a better cover. Uh, probably in a little bit better shape here. So that's badass right there. Just love how Sempentor Simp and um, Baroness are there. And was it Dr. Mindbender, I think his name was? So that was neat. Omega Supreme. So yeah, really cool stuff there. That was eight bucks. So got that for four. Not too much Spider Man stuff. I was definitely disappointed. The goal is to always get Spider Man. And I, it just, there wasn't that much. It just didn't really exist. But we did get. A uh, miniseries back from the, uh, I think it was from the early 90s or 80s. This is called The Deadly Foes of Spider-Man. This is issue three of the series. I'm pretty sure I already have this, but I'll be happy to have another copy of it. So we have that. So we have issue three. That's a shocker on there. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. And then we have issue four, which these copies are really good. Uh, really nice shape and there we get to see the Beetle, Beetle, Hydro Man, Rhino, Speed Demon So we get those characters on there. So I paid just maybe a buck 25 for that Then I got a couple of X-Factor issues early issues that I don't have and when I'm getting issue 8 Which is cool So we scored that one and we scored issue 9 as well where they're doing battle against the blob again I don't have these early issues. So that's pretty exciting old X-Men issues they did not have but they did have this issue 236 not sure if I have this one but uh, again it's in really good shape so I paid like two dollars for it so can't complain about that one Braden found this one and I was like oh yeah we gotta buy this one just for the cover we have Captain America issue 407 this is man and wolf part six of six so you have Cable and you got Wolverine and just Cable doing battle against Man-Wolf and he's wearing like Captain America gear. It's pretty cool, man. So he, he picked that one out. So that was awesome right there. And then this is Braden's like must buy. He told me no matter what, you have to buy this because Fing Fang Foom is going to be a thing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So this was Thor issue 379. So even though this is not his first appearance, nevertheless, he likes the character and he thinks it's going to be, this is his spec, right? So uh, we wound up getting that. The cover price was $12. I think I paid like five fifty dollars for it, if not. So really, really, the comic is in great shape. So I'm trying to buy more Thor comics also because I have very few of them. Then I scored issue 392, 92, yeah. So we have 
Daredevil in the book, which is cool. And then we have Quicksand. So she's like a, like a Sandman character, but female. So I was like, oh yeah, that's sweet. So I picked that up. And then they had the continuation of that story arc with 393. So that was awesome. And then I got Thor issue 406. So I was like, yep, score on all these old Thor books. Why not? So I scored on that one. And then I wound up getting this because both Brayden and I said that this cover was badass. We had to pick it up. And this was uh, the New Avengers issue 50. Really nice looking cover there the, during the dark rain time. Um, done by uh, Philip, was it Philip Tan? You got Wolverine, Jessica Drew. You, you just got all of them. Miss Marvel on there. So really cool stuff there. And then last but not least, this was the coolest one, I think, out of a lot of these books because I've never saw this. This is another DC uh, Marvel crossover and uh, DC Marvel All Access starring Jubilee and Robin. And I was like, man, I have never seen that. Never knew that these two crossed paths before. And it, it had a grade of a 9.2 on there for $2.82. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Just happy to have it in the collection. So there you have it. There's the haul from Johnny B's. We're going to go back to where? Intergalactic Plastic. Yeah, so if you saw the video from a few weeks ago of shops that we visited last time when we were in Lakeland, we went to Intergalactic Plastics. Great shop. We're going to see what back issues they have this time. Uh, they had a buy one, get one, or buy two, get one free comic book sale. Again, I'm going to be looking for some Moon Knight, going to be looking for some uh, Web of Spider-Man, and just other stuff in general. So that's going to be on the, on the list next, so we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so we arrived at what used to be Intergalactic Plastic. However, it did not go out of business. It's actually moved a couple spaces to the left, so we're about to go in Intergalactic Plastic, the new location. Okay, so we're back from Intergalactic Classic. We had to leave for a little bit. We had to go back to the dance competition. Before we get into what we got from there, literally, we almost crapped our pants when we found out that they were in that location. We thought that they closed, and so it was a few stores down, so we had to take a walk. We wound up going inside. I didn't get a chance to film. There was a lot of people in there and stuff, so I didn't get a chance to really talk to them. But this, they had everything that they had before. It was just a much bigger store. And it looks like they are also setting up for uh, like card games and, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. what did you think about the new spread? Uh, I like that it's bigger, but they weren't playing the video game music. So it's not as good. <laughs> I think they're still trying to set things up. So, I mean, they said that they just had moved. So, all right, so we had a good time. I found some great stuff in here. Buy two, get one free. Another mysterious white bag. See, every comic book shop has white bags. My shop has the black bag. So here we go. Here's the second stack of the day. And uh, I can say I got some really good books uh, this time around. All right, so here we go. First issue, Web of Spider-Man, issue 98. Uh, paid two dollars or got it for free. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they calculated what they got for free. So we got that one. You like this one. X Force issue 25. Right? So it's got that cool little uh, hologram card in there with cable. Did you like that one? Yeah, that one looks cool. Yeah, I showed him that one. He's like, whoa, that's cool. <laughs> so, like, that's what they did in the 90s like they called them like gimmick covers and stuff like that they kind of do that now but they, they did that and they released a ton of them all right then i did find some spider-man books which i was happy about this one looked cool spectacular spider-man issue 144 uh this is uh with boomerang in it he goes welcome to san diego spider-man it's a great place to die blasted by boomerang so I thought that was cool. I don't think I've ever really seen that cover before. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to collect all of the original volumes of Spider-Man. So Spectacular Spider-Man, Web Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man. That's what I'm doing. 
All right. Then we got Web of Spider-Man issue 125. This is pretty cool as you have, uh, I guess, a Scarlet Spider kissing Gwen Stacy, I guess. So we got that going on in that one. So I had I had to get that one because it was a hole to fill. And then I wound up getting an amazing Spider-Man issue, 246. You got J. Jonah Jameson jacking Spider-Man in the face. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, but I thought that was cool. He goes, I've dreamed of this moment for years, Spider-Man. Now at last, J. Jonah Jameson is triumphant. So I had more books in my hands, and Brayden was like, Dad, that's a lot. <laughs> so I was like, I had to put stuff back. All right, and then, let's see, I got more Spidey, and I got some Wolverine. So, all right, here we go. He put them all out of order after I put them in order. So this time, I got Web of Spider-Man, issue 34. Wanted this cover just because he had football in his hand, but it is a hole. Like, I needed to get this book. So it's pretty cool there. Watchers on the floor. Look, he's like practically dead on the floor there. All right, and then I wound up getting, let's see what other Spider-Man books there are. All right, had to get this one because this one just looked cool. Uh, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, issue 77. So I don't know who he's fighting here. He's got like buzz saws at the, like, on it. He's like a Wolverine character, except he's got spinning blades, right? Like, look yeah. at him. He looks, he's like a ripoff off of that. And uh, he's like shredded the whole cover and the corner box there. So I was like, oh, that's cool. And by optical illusion, it kind of looks like it's torn, doesn't it? Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So I picked that up. That was like six bucks, right? All right. Then I wound up getting uh, a couple Thor issues. And they had a whole bunch of Thor. I mean, a ton of it. But again, I could not buy everything. These <laughs> one issue was four and one was six. This was Thor issue 383. I bought this one just because of the cover looked cool on there. It had the Enchantress on there. Had the uh, Doctor Doom on there, the Wrecking Crew on there, Ultron's on there. There's the, that, I mean, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. So he goes, the story we couldn't print until now, Crisis on Battle World. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> then we got the issue right after that. And so this is introducing Once in Future Thor, the, fu the first issue of a brand new era. So I picked that one up. So it's like, this seems to be something significant. I don't know if Battle World has a different Thor, just like the modern day Battle World story. So yeah, so we had that one. So I was like, all right, I gotta get that. All right, and then next I wound up getting some Wolverine books and I got a key. And I'll show you the key at the end. But first I'm gonna show you is Wolverine issue seven, which I thought was pretty cool because it's got the Grey Hulk in there side by side. So I thought well, that was really nice. I was looking for the one with Patch and Hulk, but they didn't have it. And they did not have it, unfortunately. Really good copy of that book. <clears throat> then, this is a bad... I just bought this for cover. I don't care what the book is. This is Wolverine issue 36. Tell me that this is not classic Wolverine right here. Like, him shooting big-ass guns, smoking a big-ass cigar. It's... It's freaking smoking out, you know. He's shooting. He's shooting that guy. I mean, it's it's awesome. Blood and Claws Part Two. It tolls for thee. So that is so cool. Look at all the ammunition going on the ground like that. That is so cool, man. Just an awesome cover. Then I got this Wolverine issue 48. I'm pretty sure I have this comic, but it's not in good shape. This one is in much better shape. I only paid three dollars for it, but I love how he's just raging. You know beginning a quest into Logan's past, the sequel to Weapon X. So we got that going on. And finally, the biggest pickup of the day, a key book. And also, to finally complete the collection that I've been searching since I was a kid, I finally got Wolverine Issue 2. Within the last year, I picked up one four and three and I've been missing two when I was searching through those Wolverine books they had this in there and I was like no shit I'm like holy cow and it's in good shape I mean it is in really good condition and high grade paid $25 for it and 
this is nice. So I am excited. It definitely paid off to go back to intergalactic plastic mm -hmm. and uh, it made this trip worthwhile. So there you guys have it. There are the holes from both shops and uh, we're happy to bring it to you. And then once again, I think our next trip is gonna be maybe Daytona. Uh, if we get to go to a shop over there, we'll be lucky. And then we have nationals in Georgia. Mm -hmm. So our tour continues out of state in uh i think it's going to be early june so stay tuned for that to see which shops we visit in georgia so guys as always thank you for watching brayden and myself taking tours at comic book shops so you have anything else to say not really all right so if you guys like this video you know what you got to do we're going to leave you more content right here to click on until next time guys keep buying keep collecting and most importantly always read your comics Take care, guys. See you soon. See ya.